What is good everyone? Welcome back. Uh, I know you guys have been saying or uh, been wondering where the heck am I? Well, I took a good fat break from YouTube because you know, I just wasn't having motivation from filming but Times has changed Happy New Year to you guys um, I believe it's this third third week Let's see here it's the fourth day of 2024 so um let's go ahead and uh, get right into it let's go so today we're gonna be doing some quail hunting that's right we said it quail hunting um right now i just got to this uh spot but other than that we're gonna get unloaded lock and loaded uh, let's go ahead and i'll show you guys the big guns let's go all right so here is my Shotgun, the Benelli pump, uh, 26 inch barrel. This is a Benelli Nova pump action. And we got some hunters out there, but it's a 20 gauge. They do come in um, 20 and 12. And there is a Nova and a Supernova. I just got the Nova, which is basically the base model. But the price range is such a good deal. All right, so you guys saw the weapon of choice. It is the pump action so let's go ahead and uh load this bad boy we're gonna load this bad boy girtha in there you go it is 20 gauge so let's go ahead and uh load her up oh boy bro it is dirty where's all these dust coming from I have no idea. Bam, baby. She's locked and loaded. All right. Make sure stick these off. And then let's go again right into the hunting. So, hope you guys enjoy today's video. See you guys on the field. Okay. All right. So, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the shotgun. Here we have the 20 gauge pump. So let's go and lock the door. If it wants to lock. <laughs> okay. Okay, recording. All right, so we had some technical difficulties. Uh, <sighs> so my girlfriend was being dumb. So I had to fix that. My GoPro felt like it's wobbly. It is wobbly. Okay, let me fix that real quick. We're good. All right, let's go ahead. It's still wobbly, but it is what it is. Okay. So I didn't, or well, it didn't capture the recording, but I flushed out two birds, flushed out a rooster and a hen. Missed my shots. So that's that. Other than that, let's see if we catch some more. I'm surprised there's nothing in there. Check this one. Nothing over there too. That's why I shot the birds. One, the male flew this way. So let's see if we could uh, get him out again. He flew somewhere to this side. But what I said earlier is that I look for a big brush pile like this. And I usually just sit and wait and listen to see if I hear them running around or just wait until uh, they flush out by themselves because they see me. So that's what I do. That's how I find them. I don't know if you guys have a better way of doing it besides the dog, of course. But other than that, that's how I find them. By just walking around, seeing a good brush pile. And I just sit there and wait 
for about five to ten seconds. If not, I just move on. Okay. Oh crap, almost tripped. There's always the birds around here somewhere. Every time I come here, I always flush at least a group in this area. So I'm just gonna stay ready. Nothing. But like I said, they like to be in this type of area. From what I've seen and experienced shooting, they like to be in those type. Or like sometimes even in these thick stuff, just like hanging around at the very corner. Where are these damn birds at? Usually I will flush about like three groups, three, four groups already. Oh, today's different. Maybe it's that cold front. <clears throat> There's a bird over there. That was a bird. It was in this big old perch pile. Flew down over here somewhere. Went this way somewhere. Whoa. So what I'm doing is going on this side. Let's walk this side. See if there's any birds on this side. And if there is, well, bam. Well, hopefully, that's what it would be. All right, I missed. Knew there was something in here, but I missed. With my cheeks, booty shots. <laughs> so, let's see. One flew out this way, the rest flew out that way. So that means the rotations are now flipped, hopefully. in here grab it might be a bird So there's a creek down here, <clears throat> I'm making my way around it, working along the other side, just to see if I can see anything. Alright, made it to the other side, now we just gotta see if anything pops out.
Ah, oh, my freaking thighs. Ah, oh, that got me good. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just walk along the ridge on top here. See if I could just get anything out. The thing is, it's gonna be tough finding a bird that I shot in the thick stuff. Saw nothing else from the stand place uh did that walk you guys probably saw on the gopro nothing we oh i i did another uh lap around the field i saw nothing else you know they probably all went on the other side or farther uh of the land but other than that there's nothing else didn't see anything else um But it's okay, you know, the point is not killing. The point is hunting is always not what you expect. Let's see here. <laughs> All right, it's getting cold. My ears are numb. But the point is it doesn't matter if I got anything or didn't. Always matters that I am alive still and um, that I am, you know, doing what I love. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down what else you think I should hunt. But, it gotta be the whole next season. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted. But, the whole next season is coming up. We have, right now we still have ducks and quail and rabbits are still in the season. From what I know. But uh, other than that, there's pretty much nothing else. All the big games are already over. Uh, let's see here. At least I got to shot some birds. That thing, that's the thing. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry you guys didn't get to see any kills. But at least you guys get you know saw some birds that fly. But other than that, uh, catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, I catch you guys on the next one. Peace.